This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. Okay, once you download the file, uh, I like to save it into its own folder to keep everything kind of organized. Um, so you can see this one saved in Edge 1 Matrix. You're going to extract the zip file. And then here, once you have it extracted, you can see the input file and then the software. We'll look at the input file first. Um, so what you have is you've got your inputs, you got whether it's ready, and then the status. So you put your keyword here. So let's do this one on in-ground pools. And then you could put like keyword two, keyword three. So let's just say you had a whole list of keywords. The software will not run these until you put uh, an X in the ready box. And it will not run them if the status already says complete. So once it's done, it'll update the status. That way you don't have to worry about coming through and deleting them if you have to restart or anything. Uh, it'll keep track of that. Um, so let's get rid of this. And we're just going to do this one that's ready so it doesn't filter through all of them. But if you put more than one and mark them already, it'll do the first row, wait for a little bit, second row, wait for a little bit, that type of thing. So this is ready now to submit in-ground pools. We'll hit save. We'll close this. Now we're going to open the software. And the first thing you'll need to do is put in your license key. So let's copy that. Let's input our license key. Say OK. And then when this software opens, um, you're going to want to put in your OpenAI key. Now, you have the option to do 3.5 or 4. Um, if you have 4, I highly suggest 4 because it stays more on topic. Um, sometimes 3.5. Um, kind of makes this output uh, not as valuable and it gets kind of messed up. So um, I left 3.5 because some people may not have 4, but always try to use 4 on these edge ones if you can. So select file. Let's pick our, edge, our input file. Say open. And then all you do, I'll move it out of the way so you can kind of see the terminal over here. You hit start and that'll go through and it'll run the uh, edge one matrix analysis um, on the keyword. You'll be able to see the updates as they go through the terminal, uh, as it's doing each analysis. Uh, the thing is, this takes, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes uh, per row or per keyword. So I'm going to pause this while it goes through, and then I'll come back and uh, show you the output once it's done. Okay, and the execution is complete. So you can see here in the terminal, uh, it gives you that as it's going through all these. Um, sometimes if you get open AI errors, you'll see this uh, get messed up and there'll be an error. It'll get stuck for a long period of time and eventually it will error out. Uh, if that happens because of the uh, open AI API, uh, you'll just need to restart the software. Um, but now that it's completed, do this. We'll go look in the folder. So it created the matrix scans. And here is the edge one uh, matrix for in-ground pools. So as you can see, you go through and you can see all the different... Uh, ways that we parse the data and you can see all the terms that, re that were returned for each different type of data analysis that we uh, performed and it goes over there's like 63 or more and then if you um, go here to term counts what I've done is I've taken all the terms that show up here and combine them and sum them and show you uh, and sort of them based on the number of times that this term appeared across all of the different types of analysis. So it kind of is uh, sorting uh, the, the uh, terms that go along with the input term based on the number of times it's seen across all the different ways to analyze uh, the language analysis of the terms. This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.